Okay. Let's get started. Uh, for each the for the following exercise, determine the points, if any, at which each function is discontinuous. That's how... No, that's not what we're starting with. I skipped, sorry. I skipped limits, did I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, I skipped, skipped limits. Um, okay. Let's fix that. Okay. All right, let's get started. Uh, use the limit law to evaluate each limit, justify each step by indicating the appropriate laws. So this one is due to the sum. Each individual part is, is defined entirely within an open interval around zero. And each one has a limit. Uh, this one is zero, zero, and three. So that's down to the, the sum rule. Uh, the top has a limit. Uh, each uh, and the bottom has a limit and the top has a limit because of the sum, because each individual part has a limit and likewise on the bottom. So it's one plus three plus five uh, over four minus seven nine over minus three so that's minus tr uh, three and that's because of both the uh, quotient and sum or technically sum and difference isn't it um, this one is uh the root So this root sum and difference, I'm not going to keep saying sum and difference, it's the root one. Um, root four plus 12 plus three, that's root 19. And that's because of the root and the sum and the difference. And this has got to be the power one and the sum one. Um, bum, 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 minus nine plus one is minus eight squared is 64. And that is because of root and sum. Um, what way do they have the answers at the back now, I wonder? 83. Oh, they want more steps than what I did. I thought so because um, I was just doing direct substitution, but they're not letting me do that until the next one. All right, let's do it the honest way. Ah, so this is four limit as x goes to zero of x squared minus two times limit as x goes to zero of x plus three, which is three. So on the top, it's the limit as x goes to one. Uh, so it will be the limit as x goes to 1 of x cubed plus 3 times the limit uh, as x goes to 1 of x squared plus 5 over limit as x goes to 1 of 4 minus 7 as the limit as x goes to 1 of uh, x. So that will be... 1 plus 3 plus 5 over 4 minus 7, which is minus 3. The next one here. Um, that's root 
the limit as x goes to minus 2 of that I could add in more steps but I don't think it's really needed uh, 4 plus 12 16 root 19 and then that one there is the power one so that's the limit as x goes to minus 1 on this, all squared. So the 9 comes out using the constant rule, plus the 1, all squared. So that's 64. So uh, where was I? 83. 83. Yeah. Yeah. And 85. Yeah. Okay, now I can use direct substitution. So that's 49. Replace the x with 7. That's 15. Because it's 16 minus 1. That's 1. That's e power 0. So that's 1. Uh, that's 2 minus 7. Which is minus 5 over 7. And uh, log is 9. Log E9. Let's check if that's right. 49. 1. Minus 5 over 7. Okay. Okay. Next ones. Um, okay, so if you sub zero in, let's see, uh, so, um, if you sub four in, that's going to be zero over zero, yep. You sub two in, that's zero over zero, yep. You sub six in, 18 minus 18 over 12 minus 12, yep. One minus one over zero, over zero. And uh, nine minus nine is zero, and three minus three is zero. So if you're there, you can pad it out, but they all check out in terminant. Uh, so now let's calculate this. Uh, the technique here is to simplify the fraction. So that's x minus 4 times x plus 4 over x minus 4. They cancel, and then you can sub in the 4. So that would be 8. This one here. Um, that would be x minus 2 over x times x minus 2. They cancel, and then you can sub in the 2. So that's a half then. This one here, we can take out the 3. That's x minus 6. We can take out the 2. That's x minus 6. They cancel, and it's just a constant 3 over 2. That one there. Um, That's 1 plus h minus 1 times 1 plus h plus 1 over h. They cancel, and therefore that cancels, and now we can make the h 0. So that's equal to 2. That one there, that's the difference of two squares again. So that's root t minus 3 times root t plus, times root t plus 3 over root t minus 3, they cancel, and I can sub in the 9, 3 plus 3 is 6, so we have 6, 2, 3 over 2, a half, and 8, let us check the answers, starting with 93, and then 3 over 2 and then 6 I'll check out ok a few more here Uh, 
Uh, okay, that one looks a bit tricky. Um, actually, I think I'll clear the page off. Ah. All right, let's have a look here. All right, uh, what am I going to do here? Um, simplify the top as A times A plus H, and then that's A uh, over minus H. A minus A minus H all over H. The H just cancel. And now I can put h goes to zero. So it's just minus one over a squared, I guess. Well, tan, remember, is sine over cos. So what will happen is that the sines cancel and you'll be left with one over one over cos. So this is just cos theta, which is pi, which is minus one. On the top is the difference of two cubes, which if I remember correctly is x minus one times x squared plus x plus one. And then the difference of two squares, x minus one times x plus one, they cancel. The x is one now. So that's three over two. Uh, 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 uh. Factorize the top as 2x minus 1 and then x plus 2 over 2x minus 1. Is that right? 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Uh, they cancel and then you put x as a half. So that is 5 over 2. And then lastly, that looks hard. This one might require a bit of brain power. Let's check that these are right first before proceeding. Ninety-nine is minus one. A hundred and one is five over two. So that checks out. Don't know the answer for 102 though. Okay. I am thinking do I want to multiply above and be below by root a uh, conjugate? Let's give it a try. We'll multiply by root x plus 4 plus 1 over root x plus 4. So we'll just forget about the limit for the moment. Plus 1. So on the top, you would have x plus 4 minus 1. And on the bottom, you'd have x no, I don't think that's going to help unless I get an x plus 3 on the top, which I do. Yes, 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 yes. x plus 3 times root x plus 4 plus 1. But on the top, we have x plus 3, so that cancels with that. And now I can put the x as minus 3. So uh, that will be... 1 over 2. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I never checked that these are undefined, but they are because that's 0 over 0. That's sine 0 over tan 0, which is 0 over 0, 0 over 0. And this will be 0 over 0, and this will be 1 minus 1, 0 over 0. So they are all, trust me, you can put it in on the calculator, but they're all undefined at uh, their uh, limit point. Um, in the following exercise, use direct substitution to obtain an undefined expression. Then use the method 
to simplify the function to help determine the limit. Okay. Maybe we'll leave it there for today because I'm actually quite tired. Um, and then pick it up with these different ones then tomorrow. How big is this exercise? Nah, maybe it won't be too long to do. These are kind of short questions. I'll leave it there for today. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good point to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Any mistakes or problems, please let me know and I'll see you next time.